all are doing absolutely very well so today we have another pick a card reading <laughs> sorry <clears throat> oh my god okay so so today's reading is uh their thoughts no yeah their feelings and their thoughts towards the connection that you both share at this moment in time okay so whenever you're watching this video uh, we have three groups for you to choose from. We have group one, group two, and group three, if you want to pause. To choose your group, feel free to do so, uh, but I shall see you all in your readings, all right? Hey there, everyone. <laughs> Uh, welcome to your reading. If you chose this here crystal, then this reading is for you. Uh, so the person on your mind, uh, what are their feelings and their thoughts towards the connection that you guys share at this moment in time, okay? So at the beginning of the reading, we're going to be focusing more on like their feelings um, and towards the end, more on like their thoughts on the connection, okay? So we're going to start off with your tarot cards. The first card we have is the Four of uh, Pentacles, upright. We have the Two of Cups, which is always a good sign, right? <laughs> uh, so Four of Pentacles, Two of Cups, upright. We have Queen of Cups as well, so that's so nice. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> and we also have Five of Wands reversed. So what are their feelings towards this connection? So straight away, their feelings towards this connection... I want to clarify it before I say too much, but my first impression is that this person has a lot of love for you or there's a lot of love that is felt within this connection from your person. Uh, they could feel quite like possessive over you or or they just feel like they have a very like a hold, like there's a hold there. Maybe they feel like you have a hold on them or, you know, this person feels like they have a hold on you or perhaps you guys have a hold on each other. Uh, but give me a moment, I'll get some more specific messages. One second. Okay, so I do sense that your person has a lot of loving feelings towards you and towards the connection that you guys share. It's possible that your person feels like you guys are soulmates or... Or that at least, that like, you know how, I don't know, I feel for some of you, like, your person thinks that you were kind of made for them and them for you. Like, they feel like you guys are compatible on that level. Like, if they don't resonate with <laughs> the term soulmates, then they definitely feel like you guys share um, a very deep bond. Like, for some of you, if this person is, uh, like, religious, they may feel like, um, you know, their God or their higher power kind of, like, sent you to them or kind of brought you into their life. Uh, I don't know why that religious comment come, came up. I don't know. Maybe that might be significant for some of you guys. But um, they do feel like the connection that you guys have is maturing as well. Uh, they feel extremely compatible with you guys. They feel like you guys are both compatible. Um, and obviously that you guys share a strong bond. I feel for some of you, it's like your person feels... Um, about the connection is that you they feel like the connection that you guys share is very sensual okay they feel like I'm hearing for like for the most part this person feels very safe in this connection but again it's not 100% like that's why I, I don't know but for the most part you know but I don't feel like it's 100% safe because um, I do feel like there are some you know with the four of pentacles like I don't know why I see it but it's kind of like as someone who maybe appears to have their stuff together but I feel like there's just kind of some stuff going on below the surface uh, that's just obviously like my you know um interpretation of it though um so yeah that's why I just say not 100% but they do feel safe in this connection that you guys have um I'm hearing like they they feel like your connection is heading is headed somewhere serious um I feel like your person wants a serious commitment with you. It's like, I, I'm hearing, I can't really see myself having a serious commitment with anyone else, especially at this moment in time. Your person feels like you are someone who's incredibly kind, maybe someone who is 
uh, very compassionate or they just really like the kindness that you have maybe shown them um, in the past or maybe in, in regards to something specific. But it's like your kindness in a certain situation is kind of standing out though um, to your person. It's like it's like this connection feels very special to them. It feels very special, like almost, I don't want to say magical, but it feels like special. Like I don't know if your person would voice this to you, but it, it kind of just feels like your person feels like destined to have you in their life. Um, but again, I feel like they may see it from like a different perspective, you know, like from like, they may just align with it in like a different way, you know, rather than soulmates and, you know, stuff like that. But um, this connection is definitely very special to them. Um, they have feelings of having a, a deep commitment with you. For some of you, um, uh, they do want marriage or they do see marriage. I don't feel this is for all of you or um, or if it's, I don't feel like it's even developed to that stage for some of you guys. Obviously, for some of you, it has um but for some of you it hasn't it's like it's like there's a high percentage you know this that this person wants to be married with you but obviously it's going to be different you know circumstances situations um but there is that 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 small desire there for some of you um for some of them sorry uh, your person feels very protective over you. Uh, when I was clarifying, I wanted to see if they were protective of the connection, but it's like, no, they're protective over you specifically. Um, I'm hearing that your person may feel that they need to save for something um, important, you know, sp sp I can't fucking say it. something specific um, that they want to save for. Um, I feel for some of you, they may think that you guys are in each other's like laps a lot, like um, maybe in each other's space. Like say, for example, you guys will you know work together or come home together, eat together, sleep together, you know, uh, like if you guys do have that dynamic, I don't know why it came up. Um, Like, if you have a connection with this person where you guys are, like, always together or you always see each other, they could really like it. Or they like how much they speak to you throughout the day or, like, they like how much they connect with you throughout the day or the different ways that you guys, you know, connect with each other as a couple or, uh, you know, whatever kind of connection you share with this person. But I do sense that your person feels like they need to save. Uh, but save for something specific. It's not like just saving for the sake of it, you know, like hoarding money for the sake of it. It's not that. Um uh, I do feel like your person has some feelings of jealousy, either surrounding you or surrounding the connection. I feel like, I don't know, if you... Oh, let me see. I feel for some of you, your person could feel like you have a few admirers, so that could be a source of some jealousy. Um, I'm hearing... I'm hearing like if you're someone who's just like pretty much kind and um, like sweet to pretty much everyone you meet, like you're just like, you know, I have no reason to be not nice to you. So I'm just going to be nice, you know, like if you have that kind of personality, um, then it could like not not necessarily bug your person, but they could maybe get a little bit jealous when they see you, you know, being kind and sweet to other people. Um but for others of you, it's like they could feel like others are, you know, jealous of the connection that you guys share with each other. I feel like in the past, your person felt like they had to compete. Um, but it's like they've almost let that go. They've let that, um, you know, competitiveness or that fight or the urge to, you know, conquer or whatever you want to call it. It's like they've kind of let that feeling go. I'm hearing for some of you guys, like, if you guys have ever had a disagreement with this person, dispute, or if it was just, you know, miscommunication, it doesn't have to be super tense or whatever, but they, 
but they really like the way that you guys resolve conflict or tension disagreements as a couple okay like i'm hearing that for um some of you guys but yeah they definitely see and feel like this connection between you both is maturing right now so how do they what are their feelings about this connection so for some of you that like, they feel like they're learning a lot they may feel like they're being tested but again it's like if they even if there are tests even if there are challenges your person feels like it's like they're feeling like they're learning how to overcome them instead of like you know staying in you know certain energies that may not be you know the most healthiest if that makes sense but yeah this person definitely definitely feels like they're learning a lot from you from this connection so we have here guide follow in the footprints of greatness so yeah they definitely feel like your connection has this deeper meaning it like they feel it's like they feel like your connection together is a purpose you know it's like you guys were meant to come together to do something you know it could be to do something great um in the, your person's perspective um but i'm okay so I want to clarify something give me a moment okay so what i'm hearing is like this person your person you're asking about they feel like this connection has challenged some of the beliefs that they had before and it's kind of like maybe opened up a new perspective a new path a new but it's just like do you know yeah do you know it's like when you don't know much about a subject and then you're like oh like you kind of start to learn more and more like that's what it almost feels like it's like you know not necessarily like i don't know how to i don't know how to put this it's like almost like walking through a door that you didn't know was there you know like i hope that makes sense but yeah so we have way of faith let faith be your guide so there's a lot here about guide there's a lot here about guidance faith like tr maybe tradition maybe not tradition maybe i feel like it's more is it religion or spirituality? I don't know if spirituality is like a big part of your connection or your faith is a big part of your connection. Um, but yeah, anyways, so uh, this person definitely felt like, feels like this, this connection is uh, guided in some way. Um, they may feel like you guys even need to make more time um, to play or they'd love the playful moments that you guys share with each other like if you guys have ever danced with each other um you know played silly games with each other then they really love those moments um if you guys haven't done that for a while then i feel like they would like to or they would like to kind of um, invite that into your relationship a bit more if that makes sense okay so what are their thoughts towards uh your connection together give me one moment Oh, okay. Ow. Sorry. Okay, so the person on your mind, what are their thoughts towards this connection? So we have here blah, blah, blah. I do feel like there's, it's like, how do I explain it? Do you know when you kind of fall into a system or you fall into a pattern and you fall into uh, kind of a routine that's almost really comfortable, but at the same time, it's still a routine, right? <laughs> so for some of you, it's like your person could think that maybe things have either become too routine, like too monotonous, or maybe a little bit boring in the connection. Because um, I do feel like your person, you know, loves to have fun with you and maybe they want to have more fun with you. Obviously, if, you know, circumstances don't allow it, circumstances don't allow it. But um, yeah, that is what's coming through. So we have here, I accept you for who you are. Yeah, so your person accepts you for who you are. Um, we have here pillow talk. So uh, maybe your person wants to stay up at night talking to you. Oh, 
give me one moment i'm getting like brain fog right now honestly okay i'm hearing for some of you that your person could feel like or think that you guys don't talk enough um or don't have enough uh like conversations maybe deep conversations maybe any more like i said it, it's it feels like there's been like some sort of routine some sort of pattern you know comfortability here um like things have become almost really safe in this connection and i feel like your person either wants to discuss that with you or they think there needs to be some more conversations happening between you guys so we have this connection will forever affect me obviously yeah i feel like your person thinks yeah so your person thinks that they will definitely carry you um you know either physically or emotionally or spiritually uh, maybe all of the above um, but they feel like they will kind of carry you in their spirit for quite some time for sure so your person could think that you're quite strong, but maybe really independent at the same time. And um, perhaps this person would like more of... Um, uh, one second, let me clarify. Yeah, for some of you, your person could think that you need to lean on them a bit more or they would like if you lent, lent on them, <laughs> if you leaned on them a bit more at times. So we have here, I'm still thinking of the little things you did and said. So yeah, your person is definitely going over some of the things that you've said to them um you know they're still thinking of the little moments that you guys shared or um you know the little things that you did or said to them so we have i want to be of service to you so yeah for some of you your person uh wants to be of service to you i do feel like they want to be able to do more for you um yeah so we have here i hope you can understand let, let, i'm going to try clarify that what do they hope you can understand So we have the emperor which is about stability it's about i don't know why i see it as conquering but stability reliability being dependable structure fatherhood even um disciplinarian i'm hearing being authoritative um i don't know so like if your person is taking on more of an emperor kind of energy maybe that's what they hope you can understand or if this if there is a character in your life um a person in your life who has those characteristics of being like the emperor um then maybe your person is hoping that you can understand in regards to maybe their father figure um or you know just something surrounding security um whatever the emperor represents they hope you can understand so that may resonate for different people in different ways but i hope that could make sense to someone you know <laughs> so we also have whipped cream plus your nipples so i feel for some of you um they could one second so yeah <laughs> when i was clarifying it that's so funny that the devil actually showed up because i was <laughs> Because I was going to say, like, your person, um, you know, may be thinking about, like, introducing more freak stuff into your um, connection. And then to have that clarified by the devil is like, yep, yep. Like, your person could definitely um, be considering, like, spicing stuff up in terms of the bedroom. <laughs> this could involve, like, bondage. It could involve, you know, food. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah. For some of you, it's like your, your person... Um, definitely maybe has the desire of wanting to spice stuff up and we have insecure here so uh, let's see i'm hearing for some of you your person is feeling a little bit insecure about the connection though um what? I'm going to clarify why that could be. Obviously, that's not going to be uh, for everyone. But why would they be insecure about the connection? 
or maybe it's none of my business and you guys already know why your person is insecure about the connection i don't know so we have here queen of pentacles like if any of you resonate with uh, maybe being the queen of pentacles that could be a reason why they're insecure like if you're someone who is respected um if you're someone who is maybe self-employed uh you know you make decent money for yourself but you're also maybe a leader in some way you could be imagine a manager or you could be a working parent as well um but it's like they admire you for maybe showing the queen of um pentacles um you know she's comfortable she's secure she's she's got her shit um you know she's got her shit together in her emotional world um the people who depend on her and um you know in her material world so if you resonate with the queen of pentacles then that could be a reason why they're insecure um but for some of you i feel like they maybe are trying to become the emperor to your queen of pentacles um but yeah that's all i have for you anyways group one i hope this resonated i hope it can make sense for you and your situation and i'm wishing you all the absolute best on your journeys okay so take care of yourself bye hi group two i hope you all are doing very well if you chose this here rock uh, then this reading is for you. Uh, I don't know why. I love this rock so much. Uh, I don't know. Sorry. I just got lost in it for a bit. But anyway, so the person on your mind, what are their thoughts and feelings towards this connection specifically at this moment in time? Okay, so we're going to start off more with their feelings at the beginning and then hopefully more towards the end, uh, like their thoughts. But, you know, we'll see how it comes out, really. Okay, so uh, so what are their feelings towards this connection at this moment in time? Okay, the first card we have is the Nine of Wands reversed. Sorry, so the Nine of Wands reversed. What's wrong with you? Nine of Wands reversed, Ten of Swords reversed. Vulnerable. They feel vulnerable. They want to be vulnerable. Let me see. We also have the Five of Cups reversed. So I, I don't know why. I'm getting like heavily like remorse. Feelings of remorse. Um, And we also have the Nine of Swords. So this is like really, 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 really heavy energy. Like Ten of Swords, Five of Cups, Nine of, nine of Swords. Jeez, you know, Nine of Wands as well. Flipping hell. Uh, so what are their feelings towards this connection at this moment in time? I just want to apologize beforehand just in case any difficult messages do like come out, you know. All right, before I get into this reading, I just want to apologize to anyone who has, you know, maybe recently lost something that was valuable to you, even if other people don't understand that value. I just want to say I acknowledge that and I'm, you know, sorry for any loss that any of you may be currently going through, okay? Um, but yeah, now let's get into let's get into this reading. Um, so the person on your mind, what are their current feelings, thoughts? um towards the connection that you both have and i'm hearing like doesn't have much fight left but you know with with all the messages that are coming through it's like i don't really know which direction it's coming from so i don't know if it's like a mutual feeling or if it's more so on your side or their side um but it's possible that your person doesn't feel like they have much fight left when it comes to the when it comes to the connection or in regards to something specific in the connection um for some of you that like they could feel like you don't have much fight left because like with the nine of wands it's like you know with that when the nine of wands is in the upright it's like you're fighting you're fighting you're it's like an uphill battle challenge after challenge you know resilience but when it's in reverse it's kind of just like fuck it like what's the point like why am i going to keep struggling here so like they're like i but again i just don't know where this is coming from so either your person feels like that's how you're feeling or this could be how your this is how your person's feeling all right um but 
uh when i was shuffling like i'm hearing this song um like should i stay or should i go you know that song like should i stay or should i go <laughs> but that could you know resonate for some of you guys so for some of you your person could feel like should i stay or should i go or maybe you feel like should i stay or should i go but it's almost like there's this kind of breaking point here or not even really a breaking point it's like make or break like this could even make you guys or it could break you guys you know so I feel for some of you like your person thinks or they feel that you that you may have given up um your person could possibly feel vulnerable in this connection maybe you both feel vulnerable in this connection um for some of you your person is actually hoping that this connection doesn't end but i feel like right now from their perspective they could feel like your connection is about to end or they feel like that is what you want your person could feel disappointment in this connection. They could feel like they have disappointed you. Maybe you have done something that's disappointed them or maybe just something disappointing has happened in this connection that has affected both of you. Like, I don't know why I'm getting this for some of you guys. And that's why, again, I'm saying sorry. And I'm not even going to say what is actually coming to my mind right now because um, I don't want to start crying. <laughs> but... Um, well, I am sorry if any of you are going through that right now. Um, so yeah, so for some of you, your person could feel like something disappointing just happened in the connection. It doesn't, like, there doesn't even need to be a blame here. Like, for some of you, maybe you can blame them, maybe they can blame you. But for some of you, I feel like it's not even a blaming situation. I feel for some of you, it could be something that was kind of, like, out of your hands, almost. Um... But it's like they feel like they may have disappointed you or they just feel like this really heavy energy in the connection. For some of you, they could feel like they betrayed you. Um, and I'm even hearing like I'm not going to keep focusing on this loss. So it's like, you know, having the five of cups here and having the ten of swords, even though they're both heavy energies, like because they're both reverse. I feel like it's not necessarily getting over those betrayals, disappointments, uh, sadness, grief, loss. Like it's not it's not necessarily about, you know, kind of just moving on from it. But I do sense that your person wants to be able to move forward from it. Um, it's possible that your person is feeling exhausted right now or they could feel like you are exhausted. Again, this could be a mutual energy of something that you're both dealing with. Um, but yeah, there is this um, energy of feeling very tired, feeling very worn out, but also feeling, I don't know if hopeful is the right word um, at this moment in time, but maybe hopeful. Um <clears throat> Uh, for some of you, it's like they may feel like you don't really have much fight left when it comes to this connection. Maybe they don't have much fight left. Again, I don't really know which side this energy is coming from. Um, it's like they feel like something, something has made the connection a nightmare in your person's perspective. Okay. Um, it's like they they feel like. Like, and I, even though we have the Nine of Swords here, and when I was clarifying, like, does your person feel anxious? See, yeah, when I was clarifying earlier, it's like your person doesn't necessarily feel anxious. They don't necessarily feel nervous, but they do feel like something is a nightmare, like a nightmare that just won't stop, you know? And um, it's like a nightmare as in I can't stop thinking about this. This is like literally all I think about to the point where it's like I don't even want to say driving me crazy. Um, it's like I think about it so much that it's um, really overwhelming. OK, but not necessarily anxious. OK, your person could feel like forgiveness needs um, to take place in this connection again, like you forgiving them or them forgiving you or you both find them forgiveness together as a, a couple. Uh, this person thinks about you a lot. I'm hearing especially uh, in regards to a, a, a specific moment, like something negative or hurtful or harsh or upsetting that could have happened between you both um 
it's like they think a lot about either that moment or they think a lot about the upsets that have happened in this connection and there is this desire to fix it but it's like i don't know how to fix this for you or i don't know how to fix this for us um but yeah your person definitely wants to heal i'm hearing for some of you it's like they even stay up at night almost kind of like beating themselves up um about it or they feel like you're beating yourself up over something um like uh again um you know should i stay or should i go can we move on from this um because i have the desire to you know um so how what are their feelings towards this connection at the moment yeah so we have here doctor um god sorry Yeah, so uh, your person feels like there's healing that needs to take place within the connection, maybe separately, like maybe this has something to do with your past rather than something that's going on in, in the present. Um, but your person does feel like healing needs to take place, um, need to <laughs> needs to take place either separately or together. Um, so we have here church, temple, mosque. Uh, recognize your spiritual authority i feel like um what i'm hearing is like your person feels like you guys need support or um you need support in some way it's like i'm hearing like you guys may need advice or like you know counseling as a couple or something like that um or maybe advice from you know like if any of you are a part of certain communities um you know religions you know stuff like that uh, maybe your person feels like you need to maybe see someone like a spiritual advisor or a healer in some way again like say for example you like went to a church or something like that like they may feel like you need to talk to the priest or i don't really know how those kind of situations work but like I feel like that could be the case for some of you guys. It's like what well, what well, ultimately they feel like you both need help. Like outside help, perhaps. So we have here gift of freedom, and it says break away from your attachments. So your person feels like they need to break away from their attachments. But um, when when it says attachments, it's not really talking about this connection though. But they do feel like they need to break free from certain attachments, maybe attachments that are having like some sort of uh, negative impact on this connection. Uh, we also have here work of art. So... I mean, your person feels like you're very beautiful. That's so funny. Uh, no, it's not funny. It's because I, because I got the message that your person wants to work on things. Like they want to work on making something beautiful again. Um, but it's like, no, but first we're going to tell this person that I think they're beautiful. <laughs> so it's like they wanted to tell you that you're beautiful first. Um, yeah, that's kind of cute. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> So what are your person's thoughts and feelings uh, towards this relationship? So we have here, nothing will stand in my way. <clears throat> so your person could be feeling quite determined. Uh, you know, even though we have that nine of wands in reverse. I feel like this determination could be directed elsewhere uh, for some of you guys. This uh, towards slowing down. Uh, for some of you, uh, this determination could be in regards to slowing something down. Maybe that might resonate for someone. So we have here protection. Uh, your person feels really pr protective over you.
it's like they, they feel like this connection needs a blessing or this connection needs some sort of protection um like i don't know maybe that's why they want to see like a spiritual person or um like a, like a spiritual leader i you know like a priest or a monk or i don't know i'm so sorry i'm not trying to insult anyone um but yeah they could feel like you guys need spirit spiritual connection like your um your what am i fucking talking about protection spiritual protection your connection okay yeah so we have it's that smile for me it's those eyes for me so so your person thinks that you have beautiful smile and that you have very beautiful eyes like your person does feel like you're a work of art it's like even though all this heavy stuff is going on your person was like no you need to tell them how beautiful i find them like now <laughs> um so we have here friends first So for some of you, your person could feel like you guys need to be friends first moving forward. So moving forward as more uh, on a friendship kind of note rather than on a romantic note. Not that they don't have romantic feelings for you, but maybe they just kind of feel like it would be for the best if you guys move forward as friends for now. Uh, so we have it. I miss you. So your person is missing you right now as well. Um, your person felt like they did have an instant connection with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny we have it is for the best so your person does think something is for the best um do you know <laughs> um what do they think is for the best so if your person is maybe hoping to take more of a playful or taking more of a less serious um i don't know if non-committal is the right word no, non-committal is not the right word, but taking a more playful approach, taking a more friendly approach, um, light-hearted. Um, maybe they feel like that's for the best, kind of keeping things light for right now. Again, you know, moving forward as friends first. So we have here, I was wrong. So acceptance, acceptance. Yeah, so for some of you, your person is holding themselves accountable or they think that you want them to hold or like they think you want them to take accountability for something. Um, we have here, you are so fudge and sexy. So yeah, your person really wants to reiterate the fact that they think you are a work of art, that they think you are incredibly beautiful, that your eyes are gorge, that your lips are gorge. <laughs> they think you're very beautiful indeed. And finally, we have bitter. Um, okay, so yeah, for some of you, your person is thinking that you could be feeling a little bit bitter right now. Again, you could have your reasons. I'm not judging at all. Um, uh, but I'm wishing you guys the absolute best. Uh, this is the end of your reading. And again, if any of you are struggling, then I just want to send you some love. Um, and... And I'm wishing you guys the best, you and your person. And okay, <laughs> I'll leave you alone now, all right? So take care of yourself, guys. Bye. Hey there, beautiful people. Welcome to your reading. If you chose uh, the third crystal, then this reading is for you. Um, so it's so weird because every time I'm doing group three, I always get like these very random messages when I'm uh, shuffling. And I, this may not resonate with anyone, like it could resonate with one person or no one at all, like, I don't know, but <clears throat> I'm here, I, I heard for some of you, it's like, uh, your person could feel like they're being too hard on themselves or your person is being too hard on themselves right now, like I'm hearing like they could be beating themselves up for some of you guys. Like I'm hearing, like I was hearing when I was shuffling, like I'm doing the best I can, like I'm doing the best I can or um but yeah like i just wanted to let you guys know before i started okay um so how is what are your persons so we're going to start off with their feelings towards this connection and then we'll move more into their thoughts if that's how it works out 
So what are their feelings towards this connection at this moment in time? The first card we have is the Two of Cups. Seven of Swords reverse. Nice. Two of Wands reverse. And we have Eight of Pentacles. <clears throat> Sorry about that, I pressed a button when I was trying to adjust the camera angle and it went all floofy, so I'm really sorry. Alright, so the person on your mind, what are their feelings towards you, no, towards the connection, uh, towards you and the connection at this time? So having the cup, two of cups there, straight away your person thinks you both are super compatible. Um, they could feel like you guys are soulmates as well. Uh, they could feel like you guys have a great... I'm hearing banter. I don't know why I heard that. Um, so for some of you, they could feel that you guys share a good banter together or just share a good, like, click with each other. Um, but give me one moment. I'll go get some more specific messages. Okay. Okay, so... Group three, your person feels extremely connected to you in this connection that you guys share. Like I'm hearing, like I'm hearing your person say, like we're a thousand percent soulmates. Like um, even if your person doesn't even align with the term soulmates, I feel like they've used the term soulmate when it comes to you, at least in their head, or maybe to someone that they know, or maybe they've actually said it to you guys. Um, but they, there's definitely a belief from your person that you guys are meant to be in each other's life or you know you guys just have a very very deep bond maybe they feel like you guys are very compatible very close friends even um you know connected on an emotional level spiritual level and um physical level i'm hearing your person saying like now is the time to be honest so for some of you your person could feel like now is the time to be honest or um it's like, I'm not hiding anymore. So for some of you, your person is not wanting to hide anymore. So I feel if any of you have maybe been keeping this relationship a secret, your connection with this person a secret, or this person has been keeping their feelings a secret, the connection a secret, then it's like they don't want to have to do that anymore. Like they don't want to have to um, hide anymore, like hide their feelings, hide certain information, hide uh, certain knowledge. It's like... This person feels like moving forward, they want to be completely transparent or they want transparency within the connection that you guys share together. What I'm hearing is that for some of you, like this person really loves the bones of you. Like, I don't even know why that came up, but it's like they really, 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 really like you. They really, really are in love with you guys is what I'm hearing. Um, and you know I don't like to use the word love too lightly like I really don't you know because you know how I feel about that anyway but um, but yeah I do believe like for the for the majority of you like you could already know this already maybe some of you don't even know this with this seven of swords being here but having it in reverse maybe this is like more of a confession maybe your person is wanting to confess these things to you guys um this person uh, loves how affectionate you are. They love how uh, loving you are. So whether they've seen you be loving with them or someone else, they just love the, the energy that you exude, especially when you are being more softer, when you are being more like, like lovey-dovey, like one-on-one. -on -one. So whether that be one-on-one -on -one with them or someone else, they really like to see you in that space. Um, but yeah, I'm hearing for some of you, it's like they don't want to have to hide the connection or like they just don't want to have to hide something. They don't want you to hide as well. So if you feel like you're someone who could perhaps wear a mask at times, if that resonates for you, um, then it's like this person could feel like you both need to take the mask off. They need to take the mask off or you, um, you know, depending on which angle. I don't know. Um, but... Sorry, one moment. It's like I'm hearing for some of you, it's like they don't want to have to hide their feelings. Like I'm hearing 
um for some of you like this person feelings towards you it's like their focus is on you like like an eagle or like a hawk whichever one is is it eagle eye or a hawk eye or is it a bit of both ain't they both got i don't know it doesn't really matter but it's like they have their eye on you um it's like not saying like you're this person's like ultimate focus but it's like they are focused on you if that makes sense like i'm hearing like for some of you they don't want you to hide um yeah so there could be a desire from your person to have masks off um I'm hearing your person could also have the desire to be more truthful. Uh, for some of you, this is going to be in terms of a confession or in terms of righting some wrongs, taking accountability uh, with that seven of swords being in reverse. I'm hearing for some of you that your person could feel a little bit directionless at this moment in time. But I feel like your person is very much dedicated to working hard to change their life. But also to, let me just clarify one second. It's like this person wants to work on their finances so that they can show up for you. Um, you know, show up for you, be more consistent, more reliable maybe even. Um, but they want to make improvements on themselves for the benefit of you, for the benefit of them, for the benefit of us. I'm hearing for some of you, your person is like feeling like they made the wrong choice. So if any of you have, your, if you feel like any of you, if any of you feel like your person has made a decision recently, or you kind of felt them, you know, maybe pull away from you, or if there were delays uh, in this connection, then it's like it's possible that your person could be feeling like they made the wrong choice it's like i'm hearing actually i'm seeing like uh, a tail between their legs it's like um this person i'm not saying they're coming towards you with a tail between their legs maybe for some of you are if that kind of resonates for you guys but i don't know what energy you would call that like is it it's i don't know it's like, do you know when, I don't know, I don't know what energy we'll call that, but I'm going to leave it at tail between their legs, okay? Um, I'm hearing for some of you, it's like your person could have felt torn in the past, but now they are not feeling so torn. Like for some of you, I mean, perhaps they did think the grass was greener on the other side. Every time I see the two of wands reversed, I think grass greener, other side. <laughs> But um, but realizing that the grass wasn't necessarily greener on the other side, it's like you made a choice, you um, you pulled off into a different direction and it turned out it was a roadblock. So it's like now I need to kind of backpedal a little bit. Maybe that's why the whole tail between their legs came up. Um, but your person definitely has the want, the desire to improve uh, their finances, to be more consistent um to practice to become better to do better to be better all right um i'm hearing like uh for some of you your person is feeling a little bit stuck and for some of you they're living with the consequences of certain actions all right um so yeah those are their feelings even though that i don't really know if that went much into feelings but i hope that made sense to someone <laughs> so what are their feelings towards this connection at this moment in time so we have here airplane spread your wings and fly and we also have uh, shopping pay attention to what energizes you I feel like the connection you share with this person has taught them to be more mindful of what energizes them. I feel like your person is taking into account now what things energize them, what things make them feel good, what things make them not feel so good. And I feel like your person is starting to take that stuff into account, all right? I don't... Mm. Like, your person feels like this connection has freed them in a way. 
it's made them more freeing i'm hearing like more inspired like i feel like i can do more stuff now that i've met you um not because i've met you but it's like you've inspired me to see like a different world or a different perspective yeah so yeah this connection makes them feel free nonetheless all right <laughs> So we have here, celebrate life, make your life a celebration. So yeah, this person wants to celebrate with you. They want to share good times with you. Um, but I'm hearing mostly they want to bring peace into this connection. I'm hearing for some of you, they could want to celebrate something specific with you. I know um, like Christmas and uh, other holidays are around this time of year. So, I mean, for some of you, it could be celebrating stuff like that um, with you. Um, yeah. We also have determination and we have perseverance. So uh, your person is definitely determined towards this connection. One second. For some of you, this uh, this determination will show up as perseverance, like being consistent. But for others of you, this uh, determination will show up as your person taking action. OK, so if that makes sense for you, like for some of you, you could be waiting for like more consistency or. Um, do you know, like commitment, but not necessarily like saying you're going to marry me right now. Not that kind of commitment, but just a commitment, if you know what I mean. I hope that makes sense. I hope. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So your person thinks your skin looks like silk. So they definitely feel like you have a very beautiful skin. This person does think you are a gift. Uh, for some of you, they could want to take you shopping. They could want to buy you a, a really nice gift. They could want to get you something special. So for some of you, it's like your person could think it's too late to say sorry. It's like, is it too late to turn the tables? Like I'm hearing, is it too late to turn the tables or is it too late to make a change? You know, it's like, has the, has the, it's not necessarily has the damage been done, but have, it's like, is that impression going to be a lasting impression or can I change that impression? Oh, I hope I'm not sounding like a crazy person, but it's like, I, I get the feeling in my heart, like I can feel it, but I, I just don't know if I'm explaining it very well. Um, So we have here, will you wait for me? Patience. Hmm. So for some of you, your person is maybe hoping or has it as like, yeah, hoping that you could wait for them or they're thinking that you would wait for them if this is something you guys have discussed together already. Uh, yeah, your person is definitely thinking of taking the lead. Your person is definitely feeling it's more action oriented, right, right now. But at the same time, it's not it's not poorly thought out it's not a decision or a determination that's poorly thought out if that makes sense so yeah your per some of you your person does have the desire to uh, take the lead in this situation <laughs> for others of you your person feels like you are extremely hypnotizing it's like do you even know that you're so hypnotizing it's like like what are you doing to me like <laughs> It's like your poison ivy or something. Less of the poison though, no poison, but just um, the intoxicating part, right? So yeah, for some of you, your person thinks you're quite uh, hypnotizing. Maybe the way you walk, maybe the way you speak, maybe your eyes. Uh, so we have here trauma. You guys don't even understand how much. Every time I see this trauma card, I'm just like, ugh, you know? <laughs> I'm not saying trauma is earth, but it's just like, Jesus, hell. Like, honestly, okay, I'm not going to start waffling on about my life, but it's like, geez, can we take a break from the fucking trauma? Like, do you know what I mean? Anyways, um, so where were we? Uh, let me clarify this. This is not even funny. So, but for some of you, it's like this connection has been a little bit traumatic. 
for your person. It's like um, someone wants to clarify here, like not in a way where it's just like um, like sadness, depression, like that Nine of Swords energy. It's not that, but it has been traumatic in a way that it's been significant. Like it's been significant, traumatic in a significant way, but not necessarily in a sad way, if that makes sense. Um, so we have here, I've been through some shit. So it's possible that your person has been through some really tough situations. Maybe you have been through some really tough situations. Maybe you both have. And uh, and maybe that is a reason why they're wearing a mask or was wearing a mask. Maybe you are wearing a mask, you know. But um, this person acknowledges that maybe you've been through some stuff, but that they've also been through some um, tough circumstances. So we have here wild thoughts. Yeah, your person is having some wild or wild thoughts about you guys for sure. Um, and finally, we have move on. So your person wants to be able to move on from something. When I was clarifying that, it's not necessarily moving on from you. Like, I don't feel like that's what it is. But there is something external to this connection that this person is making this person feel stuck. There's something external to this connection that's making them feel a little bit delayed, stuck feeling like they can't come towards you um, or at least not wholeheartedly right now, okay? So your person is wanting to let you know that they do have the desire to move on from whatever this external um, influence is, okay? Um, uh, let me see if I can clarify what, um, what they want to move on from for some of you guys. What do they want to move on from? So we have the Tower of Reverse, Resistance. What is the Tower about in Reverse? It's about resistance, right? So for some of you, it's like your person wants to move on from resisting change. It's like, it's like, do you know, it's like I'm kind of getting the image of someone kind of holding up a building that is going to collapse. Like it's literally going to collapse. Like there's nothing you can fucking do to save it, right? But this person's there struggling, like holding up the building. So it's like your person is... Um, acknowledging that that they need to move on from resisting whatever they have been resisting in order to make this union work for you both guys listen i hope this makes sense okay <laughs> i hope this makes sense to you guys i'm wishing you the absolute best on your journeys hi and i'm wishing um you and your person the absolute best you know together separately you know i don't know but Wishing you guys all the best, all right? So take care of yourselves, everyone. Bye. Love you.